Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Oh god, what do I put myself through for you guys? I haven't cursed this much in a long time trying to get some of these bottle caps. So I was able to complete row A, and I was also able to complete row C. But row B, for some reason, it, even though it's like the same levels, I just had enough patience for it, and I was much closer to C. So I told B to go fuck itself, like I did with D. So this is what most of them look like. If you want to see all of them, look up some other guy's walkthrough or something. I mean, I only used it to get some quick money because I was a little low from skipping stuff earlier in the game, which I regret doing what at this you point. Buying? But buying this tactical vest, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's what I get for buying too many damn first aid sprays too, so. Now Leon has a tactical vest, and yes, it does look pretty fucking awesome. Let's proceed. <sighs> God, why do I put myself here? Huh. Oh. Okay. So I got some guys behind there trying to shoot at me. Let's just wait for them to open back up. Wait. There we go. Now I should have one exploding on the inside. Weird. Surprise it hasn't gone off yet. No. Why would that go off? Are these things not on the timer? I thought they were. I guess I have to kill them. Alright, you should only need a few more handgun bullets at this point. The only bad side about this particular handgun. Alright, I am sick of them. Let's go and taste their own medicine. A nice hand grenade, because I have so many of them. Open up. Hasta la vista. Did I get them? I don't think I got them, because that door would have stayed open otherwise. Alright, open up. Oh, he had a helmet. Wow, I did not expect this door to take me like a minute to get past. Open up. No! Fuck! No! God damn it, no! Open up! Bastards. Alright. There we go. Jesus. Took forever. Alright. Now, if you take the time to go over here, you can get another emerald. That's why I sold the last one. And I don't think it combines anything. Anyways. Hello? Oh. Open the damn door. Maybe I'm too close. I am too close. <coughs> Excuse me. These guys are going to get a nice hand grenade now. Because I am done with this. So done. What? Keep the door open! I'm not finished with you faggots yet! Come on, game. Oh my god, they're still there. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Alright. There we go. Wow, I deflected that arrow, and I shot him in the legs. Like a boss. I'm not bragging or anything, I'm thinking that was pretty cool. Ugh, oh, finally. Gonna open this up for some useless TMP and I'll be getting to the merchant a little bit later. And you can see the the switch they're using to open and close that door, like little bastards they are. Um, nothing else here, so let's go ahead and continue. And oh, I'm gonna regret this, but here's another green herb. This is where the game gets really freaky. And if you actually, uh, you can backtrack through here. Remember that door that was locked earlier? Yeah, so that's a little way to backtrack from where you are now. In case you need to hit that save point again or something. But there's also another save point coming up, so I don't worry too much about it. Huh. Maybe I should go the other way then, because I want to try to show off all the ways as possible. Oh, yep, okay, here's another save point. Never mind, forget it. I knew there was another one around here. Um. I'll come back here and save off screen, but this is where I'm going to be saving, just so you guys know what I'm talking about when I say, okay, I'm going to head back to the save point, and I'll see you guys next time, pretty much. Although I'll probably just do it off screen both ways, but, eh. Um. Huh. Well. I'd say go this way first, but you don't want to. Maybe, okay, I'll show it if I think I'm right. I hope I'm not. Okay, good, good. Just check. I can't tell you why, but if you've never played Resident Evil 4, mainly one of my friends probably watching this, you know who you are, then you're 
probably going to get scared around here. And I'm probably going to jump in my seats if I'm right. Oh, thank God I'm not. Oh, thank God I'm not. Grab this early. Grab that early. I'll sell that later. We do not have a freezer card key, so I can't get into there either. So let's go ahead and continue this way. Open this up. Incinerary grenade. Won't be that useful for this next part. Um, there should be, oh, there it is. A box here of some magnum ammo. That will be useful. Oh, God, not this door. Not this place. Not this room. Oh, 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 oh fuck me. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. I hate this fucking room. Some sort of research equipment, huh? Hmm. Okay, let's just keep going. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that thing is scary. Don't even go in that room. So let's just operate this panel. Um, actually, let's turn that back down. We want the red arrows going down. Let's turn blue, green. There we go. Blue and green's all you need. I turned red on accident, so I had to go back and do that. All right, here we can get some information. Damn, apparently Lewis is on this island too. And the uh, El Gigante and Novas the Doors are merely byproducts of the inhumane experience conducted on the specimens that were once human. So an El Gigante was once human. Yeah, must have been a sumo wrestler, because he got pretty big, you know what I mean? There's a one type that can clearly distinguish itself from the rest. These are regenerators. Regenerators have an ex like really fast metabolism that allows them to regenerate lost body parts. So basically, they don't really have any bones if they can do something like that, right? Except probably in the legs, huh? And this is characters that makes them almost invincible to regular weapons. Invincible! Except Chicago typewriter on playthrough number two, but we don't have that right now. So. There are plagas that live in its body that are somewhat like leeches. To stop this regeneration process, shoot these leeches. That's, but they are hard to be located and then destroyed though. They can't be seen by the naked eye either. So we're gonna need some thermal imaging scopes or something like that. To kill regenerators, each one of these leech, leeches, like the plagas, must be killed. So if the game is telling me that, obviously I must fight that. Holy fuck. Yeah, like, this is... <gasps> no, jeez, the door scared me. Okay, this is like the... This ain't the car key, but we're looking for it. God, that's fucked up. Oh my god. Damn, this room is fucking creepy. Alright. Here we get the freezer card key. Now, what are you gonna wanna do? Is you're gonna wanna run. From that thing! Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Thankfully, he walks really fucking slow. Oh god, but is he scary. Just the way he breathes really fucks, freaks me out. I mean, there are like these gray light creatures that pull their body back together and are really hard to kill Resident Evil 6. They're like regenerators. Not nearly as creepy, but far more annoying. Because they're faster, too. Oh fuck! Oh! Oh! Oh god! Oh god, oh god. Go, 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 go. Oh, fuck. Okay, into the freezer, into the freezer. It's locked, of course it's locked. Let's go and enter in that freezer card key we got earlier. Thankfully these guys can't go in the freezer. Oh, that is so sick. Yeah, sucks to be them. God. Damn. Oh, what sucks about this one, the worst, is that you can see this guy's face as his parasite's coming out of his body. I am surprised Leon doesn't have, like, isn't traumatized from seeing some of this shit. It's pretty fucked up. Oh. Well, I'll just use it then. I should probably reload my sniper rifle. Oh, and combine that uh, red and green herb. Um, let's move this out of the way. There we go. And let's move that over here. Um, okay. This is a little bit better, as far as case organization goes. It looks pretty, but 
We're gonna want some room for a certain scope, if you know what I mean. I thought I heard breathing. I'm fucking hearing things now. I'm not a heart attack here. Oh my god. Yeah, it's completely frozen. So I'm gonna have to find another means to open it up. So that means I'm gonna have to use the the car key we got earlier to slide through the slot. And we get the waste disposal key. And then use the waste disposal key to get through a certain door later. Okay, turning off the freezer, good idea. I really hate this part. Don't make me do this, viewers. Oh god, alright, let's get this over with. You want to make sure you have at least three squares in your case in order to get the infrared scope. Yeah, and since we deactivated the freezer, eh, one of these things are going to come back. And the door locks, magically. Gee, I wonder who's on the other side to do that. So basically, combine that into your regular rifle. Uh, rifle? Yeah, I'm saying that right. And that allows you to uh, see through the infrared. So now I can see his body of heat coming towards me. There are going to be these little points, three on the front, one on the back, that you'll be able to see and shoot. Come back in the room. No, no. There we go. There we go. And the, since this is a powerful rifle, even the bolt action can do this, you should be able to shoot through uh, the regenerators. And now we can finally kill the bastards. Oh my god, I, I still hate this part. I mean, unless you have like a Chicago typewriter from your second playthrough or a rocket launcher. These fuckers are creepy! Look, here's another one on the other end of this damn hallway. So, shoot the little red parts. God, these things creep me out. So fucking bad. Come out here. There we go. And I got one more I want to shoot, too. There should only be this one. No! Damn it. No. There we go. Oh. Thank God. Now, remember that other one that I, I didn't get to last time? Oh, no, fuck! Go away! No! Quit turning! Yeah, there's two of these fuckers. Oh, you know what happened there? There was that, remember that red tank I kept passing by? I, sh I shot through him and shot that and hit him in the other one too. And I ended up killing him. Now, if you're a sadistic bastard, you can go back to the original room where you saw the first one and kill him in the same way to get an extra 5,000 pesetas. You know what I say? Fuck it. Let's just go. Now, I'm not gonna bother. Just, no. And save your infrared scope. Do not sell it anytime soon. I'll tell you when it's okay to sell it, because we're gonna need it. Unless you want to waste a ton of shotgun ammo and magnum and various other weapons and grenades in order to get past that. So, save it. It's just within your best interest. Oh, this room. I remember this room. Alright, we're pretty close, so... Ah, damn it. Oh, you know what? That, that ain't worth it. Yeah, I'm not gonna need that space, so. And I'm not gonna need the money. Alright. So here we can operate a crane. Which is actually pretty cool. Because you can take these guys one by one. And you can actually get a, quite a few of them. Um, I, I think you might be able to get two in one. I've just never been able to. Now since these guys are really stupid, just get the shadow over it. This is kind of like operating one of those cranes in like an arcade or something. I'm surprised I didn't get him. Huh. Okay, let's try this again. I thought I'd be able to get him, but maybe I wasn't exactly over him. Okay, I'm exactly over him. You see this, right? There we go. Alright. He has a crossbow, so I want to get rid of him first. Oh, wait, does the other guy have a crossbow? No, he doesn't. You can only use it twice before they deactivate it on you. But, we can go say hi to them. Hey buddy, how's it going? What you doing? Besides being fucking crazy. Oops, wait, 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 I want that gun equipment. There we go. Say hello my little friend! Oh, that's how you oh, There we go, good. I don't care if I curse and upgrade it at a game I'm playing. Makes it a little more interesting, I suppose. 
Over here we can get a green herb. Was there something Leon wanted me to check here? It's probably just that dump. Ugh. Yeah, it's a waste dump leading to the lower levels that I do not want to go to at this episode. More TMP ammo. I don't have room for it, so I'm gonna pass it up. Shotgun shells I do always have room for. And here's a yellow herb. I'm gonna combine that into one of my sets. That way when I heal myself later, I can get some more health. Which is a good thing. There should be some stuff you can grab too, like here's a flash grenade that I probably don't have room for either. Yeah, I am, this is like an extra large case, and I am struggling on how much I'm getting room for what I have. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and open up the door. Thankfully, um, Ashley's around the corner. We just can't get to her at this exact moment. So let's go ahead and go this way. And... Now, you can open this up for some quick hanging ammo. Thankfully, I can hold it. And there are two big guys guarding her. Oh, let me take care of these guys first. Hey, buddy. You, you weren't even close to trying to hit me. What the fuck are you on? Ah, oh, I need a card key. So, that's why we can't get to her at this exact moment. So, go through this door instead. I'm hoping there's a save point soon, because I have to leave for work soon. Recording four episodes in a row does take a lot of time, especially when you're doing... Ah, oh, the Target minigame out of all that. Alright, let's go through this room. Oh, hey boys. How you doing? How's it going? You know, I really don't care if I'm using my shotgun, because I have so much damage to work for it. Alright. Let's get this guy out of my way. Oh! You would do that. Yeah, I missed you to make a more dramatic effect. Yep, totally. No, thank you. Damn, these guys just don't go down without a fight. Thankfully, it's a good time to use a grenade. Here we go. And kick that guy. Maybe I should burn them. What do you think, viewers? Do they deserve to be incinerated grenade? Yeah, they probably do. Just because I'm a sadistic bastard. Oh, well, other reasons, but you know. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't finish you guys for me. Okay, let's blow that up. Kick this guy. Finish him off. Don't sprout. Ah! Oh. Fucker. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, I won't play with you. I won't play with you, I'll just finish you off the good old fashioned way. Goodbye. Yeah, I basically just want to use all that ammo and grenades to clear up some inventory space. Oh, alright, now if you actually take the time to head around this corner, um, you can get some magnum ammo. I swore there was something else though. Huh, okay, well, maybe that's all. Nothing else really here. Now, if you open through this door, damn it, my save point should be around here. Ah, there it is. I'm gonna end the episode here because I have made to my next save point. Here's also a green herb we can use. Um, I don't think there's anything else in this room. Nope, just this and the save point. So, I'm gonna end the episode here, and will we be able to get to Ashley in the next episode? Find out next time, and let's play Resident Evil 4. Have a good day.